to the demonstration of Diagnoflin software. This is the main screen of a Diagnoflin software. These all are the menus you are watching on the main screen. Now I explain briefly about each menu one by one. So let's start with the first menu that is employee details. Now in a diagnostic center we have a staff there to manage our patients and their data. And if we have a software then every doctor wants that their staff should have a limited access of a software and data management. Now consider for an example here I am doing entry of one of the staff in the software like this. Now suppose this is your receptionist. Now what is the benefit of this menu? So at the right hand side of this staff we are having all menus and in front of it all access rights. So in the combination of menu and access rights wherever I tick only that menu in appropriate restricted manner would be get operated by respective staff. Same here on report section that is our patient and account summary. Whichever summary report I take from this list and place above only that summary report could be accessed by respective staff. Okay, so that is all about employee details. Now we move to the next menu that is test details. Now these all are the modalities which we may have in our clinic and these all are the report templates which come under those modalities which we provide with the software. You can also use your report format templates in the software because many of the doctors are habitual with their own report templates. So it will be easy for them to ship this software without losing their tempo. Now we move to the next important section. Till now we have seen all master's menu in which we put all master information once. So it can be easily retrieved later on in patient details. So here is the main screen to which we are going to interact daily. So in this screen we find four tabs. In the first is search. In this tab we can search old patients. There is a vast criteria has been given for searching. At the bottom of the screen all buttons are provided to operate software. Like now consider we want to do new patient entry. Then I press new button so this screen appears before us. Now for example I am doing one patient entry. So now consider the patient comes to the reception. Then reception takes the details like refer doctor name, patient name, age, address, contact details and then press the update button to save the patient information in the software. But for the obstetric patient we also take other info from the patient like her previous child details, her LMP. So to enter that info we have to open third tab that is PNDT details by clicking on it. Now the next thing is if patient have previous child then we click on add children details button to add previous child details. If patient is timing then we directly put her LMP. No need to click add children details button. Software will automatically consider her as timing. Now at the bottom there is another button to take consent printout. So this is the consent. These all things will happen to the reception counter. Then patient comes to you for sonography. Now while doing sonography you can also transfer the sonography images to your PC with the help of this image button. And by pressing this button you can take image printout also. Now the next thing is to generate patient report. For that we select modality. Then report formats will appear for selected modality. We choose appropriate report from this list. This report template will get open in the Microsoft Word with all patient info with auto calculated EDD and GA. So we have to just put findings with which we got from sonography and one more use of getting report open in the word that we can use all features of the word like auto suggestion, spell correction, make particular sentence bold which we unable to do in other software. After that we take report printout from here only and this report will automatically get saved by patient name so we can easily find it later in time in a case patient lost her report and demand again. Now if patient wants receipt then we can give her by clicking this button. So this is the receipt. Now here is another good feature of the software that if we press this send SMS button then refer doctor get message that contains patient name, her report impression and below that your and your clinic name. So no need to call him to tell patient report. Then here is another feature that is attached. So you can attach patient referral sheet. So in case if we lose the hard copy of the referral sheet then we can get it from here in case any government officer asks a mid inspection. After that if we want to set an appointment for the respected patient then we can set it from here. We can click this button calendar appears then by clicking appropriate date we can set appointment so on that 
the patient will get SMS that you have an appointment today in so and so clinic and we also get reminder screen that this much patients have an appointment today so our receptionist can give call to them. Now all after this the main thing is to submit F on the government website. So if we don't have this software then we have to open website put the id password in the respected column then select the f form and fill all the information that we have already entered many times at consent letter then on patient report then on receipt and then in the appointment book so what is the use of the software here just go on the pcp entity details tab and we have to select only indications all other informations will automatically get carry forward to the website and remaining info which is almost same for every patient has been set by default and then for impression you have to just press open report and select impression so impression also comes here automatically and after by clicking paste button software automatically opens the browser type the website address and type your id and password which we have saved in software It will open a form and fill all the data which is present in the software within just 5 to 10 seconds. Then you have to just press next button and take a printout. There is also one more provision in case government server is down. Though government server is down, you have to keep record in terms of a form. So this button will help you for the same. By clicking this button, you will get a form printout as it appears same in the government website printout. This is all about patient details. Now we move to the next section that is reports. Report means your account and patient data summary. On the left hand side, all filters are provided to extract particular summary. Like if I want my center collection between any two dates, I just click the details collection button and I will get the summary. Same thing I can see taste wise, like which test is being done mostly in our clinic. Same thing I can see modality wise, like I can segregate patient modality wise. We also get the monthly PNDT report from this software. So we can tally the government report and software report. You can also see balanced patient list, concession patient list. And the main thing is five column register, which we have to maintain. Software generates it. No need to do clerical work. We can also view each summary graphically by clicking this graphical tick. We can export any summary report to Excel to by clicking this Excel button. Software take automatic database backup when we close software so there is no need chance of data loss and the last but not least most important feature of the software is form account details when government inspector comes to your clinic and asks for the data like as example give me the patient list which have only one female child between so and so dates or any other thing so at that time we have to keep our patients awaited aside and have to take all files and has to filter the data according to the demand which takes almost half a day so in this case you don't need to waste your time, just click this menu, select the date, write down the query and press the search button and your data will be ready. What criteria has been given for searching? This is all about the software. Thanks for watching the demo.